A man filing a federal lawsuit after he claims a police officer beat him into unconsciousness while he was handcuffed. The suit in Beaver County claims a second officer watched and did nothing about it. Paul Martino reports they also claim the Bridgewater Police Department was aware of problems with this particular officer, but still allowed him to be out on the streets. David Milam is still suffering physical and emotional pain. He's unable to work and he's lost his faith in the police. They beat him almost to death over what? And certainly he wasn't a threat once he was handcuffed. Attorney Joel Sansone says it all began late one June night at this marina in Bridgewater, where Milam works as a maintenance man. Sansone claims Milam was about to board his boat when officers Jeremy Conley and Nathan Swercos confronted him, asked him for his name. Milam only told him his first name and went on board the boat. The officers followed. He decided not to give him his last name. Now, that apparently caused them to get angry and go after him in a violent and vicious way. The federal lawsuit claims Officer Jeremy Conley boarded the boat without permission, tased Milam, grabbed him, pinned him to the floor, and handcuffed him. After he was handcuffed, the suit claims Officer Conley tased him again, removed him from the boat, struck him in the face with a fist, then dragged him by his arms and legs. Once a subject is subdued, you have no right to engage in further violent actions against that subject unless they continue to present some sort of a threat. Both officers, Conley and Swerkos, are no longer on the Bridgewater Police Force. Milam, meanwhile, was charged with several felonies. All charges were dropped, except for a misdemeanor charge of disorderly conduct. So far, no comment from the Bridgewater Borough or the Bridgewater Police Department. Their solicitor tells me he hasn't even seen the lawsuit. On the Beaver River in Bridgewater, Paul Martino, KDKA News.